Hello everyone, so in this video, I will be discussing on the topic which parents determines the baby gender. Okay, so if you are a fan of Malay dramas or Sinetron or telenovela, you should probably have seen this episode where the mother-in-law insult the daughter-in-law for not being able to bear a son. Okay, so in fact, in this uh, modern era, okay, in reality, actually, this happened or uh, maybe because of the culture or because of their belief. So here, on this uh, whiteboard, I have male and also female, okay, and we focus on the chromosomes. So what is chromosome? Chromosome is actually a DNA that can be found inside the nucleus of the cell, okay? You have cells, we have millions of cells there, so in every nucleus, uh, in every cell they have nucleus and inside the nucleus is the chromosome, okay? That is our profile, our biodata is in the chromosome, okay? So we have 23 pairs of chromosome, which actually 46 chromosome. Okay, so regardless of male or female, we have 23 pairs of chromosome for human. Okay, so the, out of 23 pairs, okay, 22 pairs are autosomal. Autosomals means that they are not sex chromosome, they are related uh, mainly on the metabolic activity of the body, like the production of enzymes and other proteins. Okay, and uh, what we are interested in is the 23rd chromosomes, okay, the 23rd pair of chromosome which is called sex chromosome so sex chromosome for male for male it will be xy okay it is xy for female the sex chromosome would be xx Right? So for male it's XY and for female it is XX and in biology you should have known that uh, for male the sex cells or the gametes is called the sperm while the female the gametes is called the X okay? which is produced by the ovary okay? and the sperm is produced by the testes. So XY so sperm is the gamete. So each sperm, of course, male, they have millions of sperm, okay, so maybe half of the million will carry X chromosome and ha other half million will carry the Y chromosome, okay, so they have X and they have Y, alright, and for female, there are only one letter here, X and another X, okay. So the egg, okay, every month, female, after menstrual uh, period, okay, after the period, they will produce one egg, okay? This egg will be waiting for a sperm to fertilize it. If it is not fertilized, it will be shed off, okay? So the egg, one egg will carry X and another egg will carry an X. So here... At the, uh, this is the female reproductive organ, okay? So at the time of conception, so at the time of conception means that sperms are present in the uterus, okay? This is the female um, reproductive organ. So there will be sperm here, sperm there, millions of sperm will be here looking for one egg cells. So like I said, half of the million could be X and another half will be Y. An egg, there's only one per month. Right. So here, okay. So X is always, uh, X, sorry, X will always be X, okay. So I just put X here, right. So here, it could be X, this could be Y, this could be X, this could be Y. Now, the survival of the fetus okay so the gender okay the gender of the baby will be determined by which sperm will fertilize the egg here okay so if if the y sperm here okay if the y sperm here if the y sperm here will fertilize this egg so it will be X 
and y. So if there is x and y, the baby will be male. Okay, baby boy. Alright, so if this sperm is x, if this x sperm fertilize this egg, it will be x and x. So what is the gender of this baby? It will be baby girl, okay, female. Okay. All right, now, so back to our earlier questions. Which parents determine the baby's gender? The answer is the father, because the father carries the X and also the Y, while the mother carries only the X, okay? So depend on which sperm fertilize the egg. If X sperm fertilize the egg, you will have baby girl, okay? If the Y sperm fertilize the egg, you will have baby boy, okay? X, Y. So now, is it the mother's fault for not being able to give birth to a baby boy? The answer is, of course, no. All right. So from what you have learned from this video, okay, the father uh, will give a 50% chance for the mothers to give birth to a baby boy and another 50% chance give birth to a baby girl. But regardless of that, it's, uh, it's not the mother's fault nor the father's fault. Okay. You have to be grateful that you have a baby regardless of the gender. You as a parent, you carry out your responsibility as a loving parent. Okay, take care of your children and adios.